Hello guys and welcome back. So today we're going back to an old style of video I used to do called Borderlands News. These videos will compile all the different topics and stories that probably won't make it into a full video and are really just meant to catch you guys up on everything that's been happening in the community. So with that, let's get right into it. So let's start with Community Patch 4.1 which if you don't know is a mod for Borderlands 2 that is just made by the community. And of course this is only for PC because if you use a mod on Xbox or PlayStation it breaks the terms of service. So what this patch does is basically just give some quality of life changes to the game but also balances and can even change character skills which is super cool. I would highly recommend you guys check it out if you're looking for a new Borderlands experience. So Shadow Evil, uh, one of the creators of the patch, actually posted a new easier tutorial on how to install the patch because you will have to go in and change a few lines of the hex code in the game to make it work. Trust me, it sounds way worse or way harder than it actually is, especially with this new tutorial, it makes it very easy. So a lot of changes in this patch change weapons and loot in general. Tweaks were made to balance out specific legendary and pearlescent weapons. They've been trying to find that balance of buffing it too much, not buffing it enough, nerfing other things, just to kind of make everything usable. Also, skins and parts were fixed on multiple pieces of gear. On the character side, Gage, Krieg, Maya, and Axton also had some of their skills reworked again, trying to find that good balance of strength, when every skill at least can be viable to use, which is really great to see, especially since so many of them just had dead skills that were never worth picking up. And Salvador and Zero unfortunately didn't get any changes. So I'll link that video down below along with a link to Mental Mars' updated website where he has the complete change log, all the previous change logs, tutorials, it's really easy to access everything for the community patch there. So please go there, check it out, really cool. So next thing I want to talk about is the community made event for Borderlands 2. Everyone knows Borderlands 2 has been out for almost 6 years now and the community is always trying to find a way to keep the game fresh. You know, with one life or different hunts. So this is a new race and basically the most recent attempt at this that's actually gained some traction. The goal of this race is to obtain a million in-game dollars as quick as possible. There will be an official leaderboards on the Gearbox forums, so if you want to compete and have an official time, you have to either stream on YouTube or Twitch, but you can still submit times if you don't stream, it just won't count as an official ranking, but if you don't cheat, you can know where you kind of line up with everything. So don't let the streaming part stop you, still compete, still be part of the community. There are a few rules, so I'll just list them off super quick. You have to start a new character, no badass rank is allowed, there's no DLC except for the characters, Gage and Krieg, so that means no Digistruct Peak or Natural Selection Annex, um, there's no co-op, no read-only save file, any tricks with those or anything, there's no mods, no console commands, no golden keys, no going out of bounds, no claptrap stash, but you can complete the mission for XP, you just can't use it later and also no gearbox weapons when starting out. I also just want to shout out Tweety Expert for coming up with this fresh new idea. I hope a lot of you guys try it out, so I'll link his page along with the original post down below and the link to Mental Mars' website and breakdown of the event if you guys want to try it out for yourselves. And the last story I want to cover is Steam had a leak that revealed achievement data for thousands of Steam games. Those numbers can then be used to estimate the amount of unique players on Steam, and they were able to break down totals for 13,000 games. I'll link the article down below and you guys can check out the spreadsheet and check to see where some of your favorite games rank. For this video I'm only going to talk about the Borderlands series, obviously. So Borderlands 2 landed highest at the list at number 16 with 11,218,936 players just on Steam, which is crazy. 11 million players, but we'll get back to that. Let me first get through all these. So then Borderlands 1 is at number 79 with 4,079,485 players. After that's Borderlands the pre-sequel at number 158 
with 2,176,285 players. And finally, Tales from the Borderland is number 511 with 592,856 players. So all of these numbers should just go to prove how strong the Borderlands brand actually is and how I think putting the game on sale consistently and just good word of mouth can help continue to sell a game past release. A lot of the Borderlands games, especially Borderlands 1, was a slow burn with a lot of people, so the fact that it is top 100 on this list with 4 million players is crazy to think about. Borderlands 2 is absolutely crazy numbers. The pre-sequel kinda does make sense for its lackluster response. And Tales from the Borderlands is also just phenomenal. Even being 500 with almost 600,000 players is crazy to me. So to close out this video, in the old style I used to do a community spotlight mention. So this week I'm going to mention Clean Prince Gaming's video covering the Borderlands series. It's always nice to see big channels still covering the game, and I don't agree with everything he says, but it's still worth checking out. There's some really cool editing in there. I like just what he talks about and hearing other people's opinions on the game and franchise, and kind of what they think with Borderlands 3 or what's gonna happen. So I'd check that out, it's cool to watch. So I'll leave the link just to that video down below. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like this style of video? Leave a like if you did. I might stick to this for a while until there is more Borderlands 3 news to cover. And did you want to see any of these topics turned into a full video, full thoughts, full guide? Anything like that, just let me know down below. Subscribe and turn on channel notifications to never miss a video. And see you guys in the next one.